Hello, I'm Dr Beth Colby from Talk Mental Health. Dyspraxia is a neurodevelopmental condition that affects movement and coordination in both children and adults. It is also known as Developmental Coordination Disorder, or DCD. Specific Developmental Disorder of Motor Function, SDDMF, Motor Learning Difficulties, and perceptual motor dysfunction. I'll use the term DCD from now on. People with DCD find it hard to plan and execute movements. They may appear to move awkwardly and clumsily and have poor balance, posture and hand-eye coordination and drop things readily. They may appear slow at doing tasks. They also have other difficulties, such as difficulties with speech and language, finding it hard to keep up with conversations and may pause before answering questions. They have memory problems and may forget things, finding it hard to organise themselves, including their time. They may have problems with picking up non-verbal social cues, have sensory difficulties, difficulties with emotional control, and they find it hard to process information, thus finding it difficult to follow instructions and directions. All of these difficulties may lead to self-esteem and people with DCD may go on to have mental health problems such as anxiety and depression. Because it can affect different areas of the brain and body, DCD presents differently in each person. DCD affects 5-10% to of children and 2% are affected more severely. It is thought that the ratio between boys and girls is 5 to 1. However, this may be that girls are underdiagnosed and they are certainly diagnosed at an older age than boys. This is also the same for the neurodevelopmental conditions ADHD and autism. It sometimes runs in families, although a genetic mechanism is not clearly understood. Risk factors include low birth weight, prematurity, family history of DCD and exposure to drugs or alcohol during pregnancy. It is thought that DCD may be caused by immaturity of neuronal development in the brain, thus making it difficult for messages to go from the brain to the body. It is not caused by brain damage, illness or injury. It does not affect a person's intelligence, but may affect a person's academic achievement. Some people may have DCD on its own, although some people also have a diagnosis of another neurodevelopmental condition such as ADHD, autism or dyslexia. Certainly some of the symptoms overlap in these conditions. Difficulties with movements in DCD include both large motor movements and small motor movements such as throwing a ball and tying up shoelaces. As a baby, a person may be late to sit, crawl, walk and stand. They may be late to talk, feed themselves, avoid building blocks and other activities requiring coordination and movement. They may be late in toilet training. Some people are clumsy and fall over easily, knocking into things and dropping items. They may find it hard using cutlery or a pen, find it difficult writing, drawing and colouring. Getting dressed, hopping, skipping, running and jumping may be difficult for them. They may avoid physical activity altogether and this will lead to muscle weakness, thus perpetuating the problem. Extra physical and mental energy is used to carry out movements that other people may find easy. Although DCD cannot be cured, identifying DCD early may lead to help with a person's physical, emotional, academic and social needs. Their needs may be identified and thus they can be helped to develop their full potential. Professionals involved may include occupational therapists, speech and language therapists, educational psychologists, clinical psychologists and paediatricians. In the UK, having an educational healthcare plan may mean that a child with DCD has extra help in the classroom. I hope this has been useful and interesting. Thank you for listening. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.